SportsIllustrated.com out here at Camelback Ranch here early in mid-January, and I'm here with Dodger legend Mickey Hatcher. Mickey, what's going on out here? Oh, it's a, just amazing camp. Uh, my first year at Dodger Fantasy Camp here in, in a while, and uh, it's just been a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of great people, uh, a lot of old teammates that uh, uh, have an opportunity to see again, and uh, uh, we're just enjoying ourselves. I mean, there is almost nothing but laughter coming from the guys hanging out with you, the guys that you're coaching. Do you like yelling at these guys, giving them the, the business a little bit and uh, kind of giving them the feel, the big league uh, treatment? Oh, yeah, they're getting the full feel. And uh, when they're out there uh, trying to hit and catch balls, they, now they know how tough it is. But uh, uh, these guys are amazing. A lot of good players here. Uh, a lot of good plays are made here. But uh, I think the best part of this camp is just the stories they get to hear, uh, you know, the history that they can hear. And uh, these guys, uh, you know, we all get up and speak about our great moments in baseball. And I think that it's just been a great camp uh, with all these guys, and I think they're enjoying it. Absolutely. Now, I mean, you've almost answered this question for me already, but what would you say to somebody who's out there and they're kind of on the fence about, hey, should I go out to the Dodgers adult fantasy camp? What would you tell them? Well, I think, you know, a lot of uh, people that probably want to do it <clears throat> don't think they're good enough to play. Well, you come out here, there's always somebody worse than you. But there's a lot of fun, and uh, these guys are are great to play with. They're team players, so when you get on a team, everybody's working together to help each other and have fun. Uh, it's not about winning and losing, but it is sometimes. But uh, the guys just have a great time. Uh, they put a uniform on. Uh, the relationships, the friendships that you get from uh, through these camps, uh, uh, that's what I love. Uh, I get an opportunity to meet uh, a lot of people, uh, find out where they've come from, uh, what they do in life, and uh, that relationship stays with you forever once you come to a camp. Absolutely awesome. Speaking of awesome, 1988 was one of the best years of my life, maybe because I was 12 years old I didn't have a lot of responsibilities. Also getting to see you and hitting those home runs and the playoffs in the World Series against the Oakland A's. I mean, guys talk to you at camp, is that is that what they bring up first? Oh yeah, and you know what, a lot of it, uh, especially with all the players that we had on that team, we always talk about how special that team is, you know, and how special everybody on that team meant to win a World Series. It was about playing baseball, it was about doing the right things to get to where you were and, and be fearless. Uh, you know, we were the weakest link in all of baseball that year, but it didn't stop us from fulfilling our dream, and that was a world championship. And, uh, you know, what Oral and Gibby did and Mike Socha's home run against the Mets and uh, and just the road that took us there to the road that got us the, the championship was, uh, yeah, I, I think everybody watches it, 1988. It's been a long time since uh, another team has won it, so you're going to have to keep watching that one. So uh, it was exciting uh, and just exciting. If you ever get an opportunity to watch the video, just hear the guys talk about that year. Yeah, no, absolutely. One last question before I let you go. 88, as you mentioned, long time ago. What do you think the Dodgers' chances here in 2020 might be? Well, every year their chances are good. This organization is outstanding, putting a team together, putting players on the field that are exciting, and uh, it's great for the fans. And uh, as long as they keep putting that team out there and getting a chance to get in the World Series, uh, they're going to figure it out. So. Uh, you know, uh, like I say, you've got the Bellingers, you, you have the Jacques Petersons that are there, you have a lot of the veterans with Kershaw. Uh, you know, there's there's a great mixture of ball players that are going to make the uh, the 2000 and uh, what are we at now? 2020 already. <laughs> 2020. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be another exciting year for the Dodgers. Mickey, I really appreciate the time, man. Go and continue to have fun out okay, there. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it.